Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. So uh, somebody was asking me this question, can I move from non-IT to IT, specifically software testing? The person is from non-IT background and he wants to move to software testing. Is that possible? So yes, the answer is a big yes. You can definitely move from um, the other non-IT background to IT background to software testing. You have to uh, take care of a couple of things. You have to study hard, work hard. I have written down some practical steps here, which if you follow, you can definitely move to software testing within, uh, I would say within five months, within four to five months, depending upon your dedication, depending upon how much time you can, uh, you can, you know, spare each day for your learning and uh, for your, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> hard work. So if you have no idea on testing, if you have like zero knowledge about testing, you need to start with understanding the basics of software testing before jumping into any tools or any other, uh, you know, technologies, you first understand the fundamental concepts of software testing. You should start by uh, learning the software development life cycle, how software is developed, what are the different stages in software development life cycle. Then in the life cycle, we have a testing phase. You will understand where does testing fall in software development life cycle. Then you should understand why testing is uh, important, how testing ensure quality and functionality in software. Once you understand how a software is developed, what are the different stages involved, then you will see where does testing lie in the picture. Once you understand that, then you should understand what are the different type of testing that we have. One is manual testing, one is uh, the automation testing. Basically, one uh, testing is <clears throat> which you do when you explore the application and you do everything uh, manually. And second is you have some automation tools. You have some tools which uh, helps expediting the process, which helps writing uh, the things faster. Yeah. And then we have functional and non-functional testing. You should know about, you know, different type of testing. I have software development lifecycle video available on my channel. I also have this video, uh, functional and non-functional type of testing. You can refer that. This is from the very basic level. I am telling you from the very first level, if you want to start moving to uh, software testing. Then you can read some books or some articles or maybe check the videos to understand basic testing concepts like what are test cases, how do you write a test case, what are test plans, what does it has, what is defect life cycle, what are the different stages in defect life cycle. And then software development models, uh, like I I talked about software development life cycle, right? there are different ways by which a software is developed. One is like waterfall model where the uh, steps are different, sequence uh, of actions are different and some people follow agile that has different way of um, creating a software. So these are two different things, but you will understand once you start learning about testing, about how our software is developed, you will understand, okay, these are the different uh, models and these are the different software models using which you can develop your software. So you, you should know about it. Then major thing, learn manual testing. Manual testing involve testing the software manually and using with the help of some tools. You should know how to design a test case. How do you write test cases? Then how do you execute them? You should know how to explore the application. What is exploratory testing? So it's like in the real time, what happens when you have a web application first as a first step, what do you do? You explore the application, right? Even in, even if you are like when you are uh, working in other field um, into non IT, you will have some application, right? <clears throat> Let's say you are uh, buying something on Amazon. So you will explore the application. You will understand first, how does it work? What is the functionality and everything, right? So you should explore the application to understand defect reporting process. You should understand at this stage, you want to get comfortable with different type of testing. So there are different type of testing also involved, unit testing. Then once more than one unit are combined together, we call it as integration testing. Then we have system testing, we have regression testing. You consider it as like 
I don't have a pen right now with me. So let's say there is a cap and it's a, a pen here, right? This is one piece and this is another piece. If you test only this piece, this will be called unit, unit testing. And when you put the cap on the top of the pen, it will become a one piece, like it will be a integration testing. So that is how we test in uh, software testing, unit testing, integration testing, and system testing when you combine the system whole, when you integrate all the systems together, like back end, front end, and uh, you know, all the things, then you call it as system testing. So you should know about all this. That's why in the beginning I said, uh, devote like five months or six months if you want to transition to software testing from a totally known IT background. Then you have learned some basic programming concept, optional but recommended. Uh, because the market is uh, changing rapidly, there is very less demand for manual testers. So I would say with the preparation of manual testing, you start learning the uh, programming language. Like for example, Java, you can start with learning basic fundamental concepts of Java. What is Java, JRE, JVM, you know, basic knowledge of Java. You will find many YouTube channels uh, where people are teaching Java concepts. Then these, these are the um, common things. These are the fundamental concepts of every programming language, control structures, variables, data type functions. So if you understand uh, one language, it will be easier for you to move towards, you know, uh, automation testing. There are many courses. These are some of the sites which I have written, which are good for, you know, increasing your knowledge about it. Then this is about the manual testing part. And once you have uh, sufficient knowledge on manual testing, you feel confident that, yes, I know uh, manual testing. Then uh, and after you know the basic of programming language, you can start with test automation. What is test aut automation? Like I said, with the help of some tools, we do the work. Right, like with the help of this mic, I am recording with the help of uh, uh, this thing, I am recording the video. So there are some tools which helps us writing the code also, which expedite the testing process, which expedite the software delivery process. Then how do you uh, how do you do that? There is a separate uh, process altogether which you use uh, in testing that is called a test automation framework. You design a framework and then, you know, uh, implement in your project. There are so many tools there, like Selenium WebDriver is the most uh, in-demand tool in India and abroad. So you can learn on Selenium. If you want, you can uh, refer the detailed blog on my Medium also. I have uh, created a detailed step-by-step -step guide of how to use Selenium WebDriver in your real-time projects. It's from the very, very basic first point, like what is Selenium? How do we use it? Why do we use it? What all are the uh, components that does it has, and uh, what is web driver? How do we use it? What are the common com What are the um, <clears throat> common uh, this thing functionalities that is offered? What are the different methods and all that stuff? Everything is there. You can have a look at my Medium profile. It's muktaqa@gmail.com. You will find many blogs related to testing. Uh, for for the uh, you know all these concepts. You can uh, you can also refer my course on uh, Udumi. Udumi, it's a beginner to expert in manual testing. If you are a totally fresher, you can refer that. If you want to move to you know IT and move to software testing from known IT, you can refer that course because I have explained um, starting with the fundamentals and till like how do we use in real time industries? How do uh, how does these type of things? work in the companies so i am very sure that course will help you you can have a look at that after uh, after you get a basic grasp of manual testing and automation testing you can explore additional tools and frameworks like selenium webdriver jenkins jenkins is a tool you should know first you should know the understand the concept first like what is continuous integration where does it fall in the picture how do you use it in uh, testing and then you should uh, know about the tool then the frameworks and git command you know these are very important concepts for a uh, engineer for an engineer to know don't rush into learning all of them at once because if you look at this list you will feel overwhelmed already like oh my god that's too much to learn but no if you make a plan and stick to it regularly spend two to four hours every day then you can definitely move to uh, this field 
learn about software development methodologies like i told you about there are two different methods by which you can develop your software like by which companies develop their softwares one is agile and um, waterfall v model and all that final thoughts you can effectively transition into software testing career the key is the key to implement and remember is start with the basics build a strong foundation first once you have a strong foundation you can build a huge building on that right gradually move from manual testing to automation testing as you gain confidence and then once you get some confidence you can learn more tools what do you think about this video please do let me know in the comments and uh, check out my course on uh, udemy udemy uh, beginner to expert in manual testing that would definitely help you to kick off your career in testing all right guys i will see you in the next video bye